Hello and welcome to Technology Master. This is Ravi, your host, and today I gonna tell you some hidden features about Oppo mobiles. Here is the phone. So most of people ask me how to check your data or how to check your data user how how they how much they use the data. So here is the solution. Firstly, if you drop down your notification bar, you get the data here. So now I'm gonna turn on my data users here. So first you go to settings. There is an option notification and status bar. So click on this. There is some options which is it's turned off now. So I'll if you want to see your battery percentage here, you just on your battery percentage. So now you get exact 98% your battery. After that, if you want to check your speed. how much voda phone or how much airtel or how much jio will give you a speed so you will display real time network speed here if you turn on this notification then you get here here 0.0 kbps it's too slow because it's too big so it doesn't matter so the third option is show data users at the bottom of the notification bar if you turn on this feature here so you can get your data users daily data users here it's like 451 kb so till within a 5 second i consume 4.51 451 or now is 536 kb so the third option is allow drop down notification bar on in lock screen interface it means if you if you turn on off screen like this or if you want to check your whatsapp notification here you can just drag here but now i'm unable to drag because that notification is turned off so if you turn on this notification like this then if your phone is locked then you can easily drop down your notification bar like this and you check your daily data uses like it's now 666 kb and the other option is easy light flash upon receiving notification if you want to blink a flash on the top of here so if you on this feature like this then if notification is comes on your phone and your phone is turned off like this then you can get a uh, notification light here so it's like you missed a call or you missed a sms or you missed a whatsapp chat so you can easily check after that if that notification is on off turn on the screen for lock screen notification if you turn on this notification bar you can get only elimination will be turned off on all the lock screen notification except incoming call and sms you can get only sms and incoming calls while your screen is locked like this you can't get your whatsapp notification or your messages anything else so guys as i tell you some features about oppo file so now i gonna show you some more hidden features like screenshot single handed operated or mm, very easy shortcuts like if you want to make your call to your mom you do not need to unlock your phone you can easily call to your mom your friend your brother your sister your girlfriend also so here is the phone so guys here is the screenshot options like this so most of people want to take screenshot and they always used to take a screenshot to send their uh, in a friend circles it's like uh, if you are using uc browser you can see easily like uh, in uc browser you can check in news also or if you want to share that news to your uh, in your relationship or in your relatives then no need to take single single screenshots or you just drag three fingers together like this then it will automatically take your screenshot like this Okay sorry for that actually that feature is turned off so firstly you have to turn on the feature like this you go to settings here is the gesture and motion feature here there is screen of gestures quick gestures smart call prevent miss operation cover mode or in screen shot gesture and motion quick gesture gesture screen shot here turn on If you now you want to take a screenshot you just drag three finger together like this it will automatically take your screenshot like this it will take around 0.2 second or another screenshot options you again go to gesture and motions 
quick gestures, single-handed operation. Now, it's this Oppo Mobile is now it's like a 5.5 inches. So some people are having problem to operate in a single hand. You have to make two hands like this. If you want to type, if you want to make a call, you just drag from down to upside like this. It will automatically become small display. So now you can easily operate with your single hand like this. Or again, if you want to enlarge this size, you just need to drag like this again, just like this or this or if you are right handed you drag from here or if you are left handed you drag from here like this so there is some more options in this phone go to settings gesture and motions here so here you can see the prevent miss operation if the lock screen is covered miss operation can be prevented if you on this feature like this so now if you off your phone like this and just put it in your pocket sometime calls arrive messages arrive so most of phones automatically pick their calls but if this feature is on it will goes to miss operation this phone didn't operate until you can't put out from your pocket so here is a off screen gesture mode you need to turn on like this there is double tap to wake up firstly i turn off this double tap to wake up here if your phone is locked you need to tap two time on off screen it will automatically on it's like this okay there is draw o to start camera if you on this feature like this if your phone is on off screen you need to draw o like this it will automatically open your camera and now take a picture like this now back now i double tap to wake up unlock my phone and again go to settings gesture and motions off screen gesture and there is a feature draw a v to turn on the flashlight if you turn on this feature like this if your phone is on locked you need to draw v so now it will automatically on your flashlight now if you want to turn off this flashlight you need to just press power key here one time only it will automatically off so there is another option in music control if you on this feature so now most of people love to listen a song while they driving so they do like this they put aux cable put it on a stand and forget to play the music so they need to unlock handset open music player open any song after that it will take around 5 minutes so if you have oppo mobile you no need to do or no need to waste your 5 minute you just off screen just put your aux cable here put it on a stand and drag two finger like this and it will automatically play your music like this or if you want to next song if you want to to play a next song play next song like this you need to draw forward you need to draw forward only oppo phone having a feature like that if you are on a music playing you want to turn on your front camera or your back camera you need to draw o oh. will automatically on their camera off oh. So guys as i told you some hidden features about Oppo mobiles so now i'm going to tell you one extra hidden feature which is in camera if you want to take a spy photo or if you want to take a photo where is not allowed to take a photo i know it's bit confusion but i'll show you so you need to 
go to your phone, unlock it, go to settings. Here is the option like camera. You need to rapid shooting function on this feature. It's already on. Before it, it's like this. After on, it will turn green color. So now the my feature is on now. So now I want to take a spy photo and nobody knows about that. I'll take that photo. So you need to press these two volume buttons together. It's like this. So I press it from my thumb because it's easy. So here you can see is my photo. It's captured. So how I know it's captured? Because you feel some small amount of, of vibration in your hand. So it means your photo is captured in a spy mode and your display is didn't turn on. So now you can check it very easily. Go to your phone, open your photos and here is you check the photo which I shoot in a rapid photo shooting. It's called a spy camera. So these type of more features are in phones, in Oppo mobile, especially in Oppo phones. So I tell you more features about that. So, here. so guys, most of people having trouble feature uh, like uh, how they arrange their phone to network shuffle like 2G, 3G, 4G or LTE. Most of phones didn't have feature like that, how you select your network. So in this phone, today I'm gonna reveal a one code so you can access very easily in your Oppo phone. You need to go on your phone book. So here is the code. This is star hash star hash four six three six hash star and hash star. So here is the some testing informations over there. So now First, you go to phone information. So you see a set preferred network type. So when you click on this set preferred network type, so you got uh, some options like GSM only. GSM, DWCDMA auto, it's like 2G or 3G. LTE only, if you want to run only long term evolution, so you can click on this LTE. Make sure your SIM and your phone support LTE, otherwise it didn't work. 4G, 3G, 2G and auto. If you select this option, second last option, if you're having a recharge plan in your network, it's 4G, 3G, 2G. It's like example, if you get a recharge of 4G pack, okay, but uh, there is no 4G network available. So it will automatically turn to 3G. If 3G is not available, it will automatically turn on 2G. So it's we called auto. Or if you want to run only 4G or 3G, you can use this last option 4G or 3G. In my opinion, I always used 4G, 3G and 2G in auto like this. So it doesn't matter my Vodafone or my Airtel or my any other operator support 4G, 3G, 2G but I already select if I get a recharge of 4G then it will automatically run on 4G if I got a recharge of 3G or 2G same like that and same as 4G so guys some of options over here the second option is a battery information you get battery status not charging right now I'm not charging my phone power plug is unplugged this power plug battery level is 86 percent if you didn't get any icon over there so you can check it from here battery scale 100 percent it means my battery is good battery health is good means my battery is was awesome and good battery voltage is 4063 it will automatically shuffle up and down and up and down temperature also battery technology leon battery time since boot 2 hours 18 seconds 50 milliseconds like or are any other user statics, Wi-Fi information and this Chinese language, I didn't know about that. Now, I review all these features in a single word. You can get internal memory, you can get good RAM, processor, screenshots, gesture screenshot, privacy, unlock, lock, all of the features in Oppo, 
so in my recommendation maybe what's your choice i don't know but in my opinion oppo is best and oppo and thanks to all of you guys who are watching my video if you like this video please hit the like button or please don't don't forget to subscribe here is the options you need to subscribe our channel also if you have any issues any problems in your phone it's not only oppo any phone you want to share with us do comment will definitely reply all of your answers thank you guys stay tuned with technology master